having worked with high school students, I always hear stories of anxiety and depression these days, and I wanted to figure out a way to bring a more positive spin to it, but also um, tell the story of, of a young black woman in the, in the school system struggling with anxiety and depression because in the communities of color, specifically in immigrant communities of color, mental health is very stigmatized. Put a stamp. I feel it coming. The thick, dark, putrid substance leaked from the pipe, so I can find it too. The Unstoppable is about a 16 year old girl named Lottie who is struggling with mental health issues, mainly depression and anxiety, but she doesn't exactly know what's going on with her. So she just feels like she's stuck and she feels like she's hurting and she doesn't know why or how to make it end. I think there's something wrong with me. Um, I can't concentrate. I can't sleep. Oh my god, Lottie, are you pregnant? What? Mom, no. Uh, are you on drugs? Mom! Okay, well, if you're not on drugs and you're not pregnant, then what's the problem? I can't explain it. One minute, I'm okay. Then the next, the slightest thing can trigger me and then it's like I can't breathe. I base the story loosely off of my own experiences with depression and anxiety. Um, it started when I was in middle school and I struggled a lot with what was happening inside my head because it felt like it was happening all throughout my body and I didn't know how to deal with that experience but to write and that was very therapeutic of me and I actually found it very easy to write the story because it was just, it was liberating. Ooh, what you writing, Lottie? Oh, it's nothing, it's just a poem I've been working on. Can you hear it? Um, it's not really good, and it's not even done yet. I'm sure it'll be great. You have to have more confidence, lots. It's not that simple. The last time I did this, everyone laughed, so. <laughs> That's because you were dressed like a horse. Was the... All right. It was a unicorn. Horse unicorn, nobody really gives a shit. And you know, I meant to ask you today, what the fuck do you think you're wearing? Hey Mercedes, blow a chainsaw. Kiss my ass. Okay, let's stay focused. Um, can I get a volunteer to read the quote from the board? How about you, Gemma? One of the reasons why this story was relevant, one of the reasons why these issues are so prevalent is because we're dealing with teens. Uh, being a teen is hard under the best of circumstances. And oftentimes, a lot of our students aren't living in the best of circumstances. Not to say that Juliana wasn't. Juliana has a, a lovely family and supportive mom and great siblings. But I think that the issue of mental health is something that is greatly impacted not just by biology, but by environment. And a lot of our students, they're living in homes that are unstable. They're living with parents that might not always be able to be as attentive as they would like to be. There's food insecurity. We're a Title I school, so most of our students are living at or below the poverty line. 40% of our students have learning disabilities, so school is generally not a place where they feel successful or where they feel comfortable. It's like the fifth day though. And it's no food in the house. All right, but they only giving me till tomorrow to pay my senior dues. If I don't pay them, like, I can't work with everybody for graduation. The vision of the film is really to really tackle the stigmas of mental health, especially with the media that's out there now and, and all of the, the different shows that are depicting mental health in the youth in a way that might not be quite positive moving forward. So the goal was really to bring these into schools uh, and to have a really positive and forward movement conversation, which we've been having. Um, and you know, the process of that was really just making sure that Juliana specifically was part of that, not just because of the lead of the film, but because she wrote it. And you know, she herself had made the choice to be an advocate for mental health issues. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I think her father left because she's a embarrassment. Anyway, we could go. All right, let's go. It smells like horse Mom? Bowie? Bowie? 
the film was actually being played in a lot of high schools around New York City, and I got the chance to sit in on a few and watch a lot of these students experience this film, and I couldn't be more proud. The reason I wrote it was almost like a public service announcement. I wanted people to stop what they were doing, to tell their loved ones that they love them, tell your friends you love them. I want people to know that if you are feeling this way, that there are people out there who love you, there are people who have your back. And I wanted to start a conversation, and I'm glad that's happening, especially in high schools where people need to hear that the most. <laughs>